Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and local learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSC Mathematics Class 8, Chapter 9, Simple Interest and Compound Interest, Exercise 9A, Question Number 16. It is, take the correct option, it is saying, the rate of simple interest on an amount of money of 6% per annum for the first 2 years, 9% per annum for the next 5 years, and 30% per annum for the periods beyond 7 years. If total interest on the sum at the end of 10 years is rupees 7680, what is the sum? So basically it is saying that there is a sum, we don't know that sum. So let's say, let the sum be x, right? Now see, the time period, time period means the total time. So the total time for this sum that it will be on simple interest will be 10 years okay at the end of 10 years is what 7680 so that means total of 10 years we are uh, it is taking and the rate here is not same for all the 10 years see what it says is the six percent per annum is the rate for the first two years one and two the first and second year then nine percent per annum for the next five years so that means 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay, till 7 years, what, how much percent? 9% percent per annum, then leaving the first 2 years of course, and then for the periods beyond 7 years, it is 13% percent per annum, so 8 years, 9 years, and the 10 years, that is going to be 13% percent rate, see, uh, we'll calculate the interest in P, so see, we have interest on interest for for first two years according to the question what we have here the time is two years principal is x and rate is what nine percent per annum sorry six percent per annum right so six percent per annum now see here that 6% per annum is the rate. Now, the simple interest becomes 2 into x into 6 by 100. So, cancel this, cancel this, 1 and 50, 3 and here 25. So, we have 3x by 25, the interest for the first 2 years. Now, see the interest for the next 5 years also, we will calculate. So here we see interest for next five years that will be what principal again x rate will change that will become nine percent and time is five years. So what will this be x into nine into five by hundred. So, 9x by 20. Now, the interest for what? Interest for next how many years? Now, here you have to see that interest for the next, we'll calculate it, that will be for the next 3 years. Why next 3 years? Because you can see the sum at the end of 10 years the interest is given so out of those 10 years we have already calculated for two years and the next seven uh, next five years so two plus five is seven seven years already we have calculated what how many years are now left 10 minus seven that is what three years three years are left so interest for the next three years will be what so we have principal x and uh, your uh, rate now here the rate you will take what beyond seven years one for the peers beyond seven years that is what 13 percent per annum so 13 percent and your uh, this time is already given that we have taken out three years so the simple interest will be x into 13 into 3 by 100 that will be what 39 by 39 x by 100 so all this we've calculated now see the total amount that the total interest okay after adding all these is what 7680 so let's do that we have 
3x by 25 plus you have 9x by 20 and you have 39x by 100. So you see here the LCM of 25, 20 and 100 that will be 100 only right because 25, uh, 25 into 4 is 100 and 20 into 5 is 100 but no other number is common here. So 100 I will take here now 3x into your uh, this uh, now just do it in the bracket so it's a uh, little space is there. 3x into 4 because 25 into 4 plus 20 into 5 so uh, 9x into 5 plus 39x that will stay as it is because it already has 100 so 7680 now 12x plus 45x plus 39x upon 100 equals to 7680 this is 12x and 45x is 57x, 57x and 39x that is 9 and 7, 16 and 1, 5, 3, 8 and 1. So 96x by 100 is equal to 7680. Okay, so this is what it's equal to. Now we'll take this x is equal to. 7680 into 100 by 96 so i'll cancel this cancel this so we'll cancel this by 4 right so 24 25 now i will cancel 24 and 7680 by 2 so this will go how many times 12 times this will go 3 1 8 4 0 and again cancel cancel so this will go six times this will go one this will go nine two zero now i'll cancel it directly by six so you don't have to worry we have here three twenty so basically x is equal to three twenty into twenty five so x is equal to zero fifty and five so seventy five and five eighty that is eight thousand so you can see the value of x is 8000 and what has been asked is what is the sum and we have assumed let the sum be x so i'll write the answer here because there is no space here so the answer is that the sum is rupees 8000 okay option which option option b is correct and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye